Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Please support us by giving us a like on YouTube. It was a frosty morning and perfect winds for a paddle. Let me tell you about some specs. It has comfortable inflatable seats made from drop stitch material. It has adjustable inflatable seats to allow conversion from one or two paddlers with space for a third and comes with an adjustable tracking fin. You might be wondering why we bought this inflatable? Well, the answer is quite easy. It was mainly for co-paddlers to come with us and also for doing trips abroad. It made sense to get something that we could take as hand luggage, which this is perfect for, if I can get used to it, of course. We all know I'm a big fan of a canoe and a single blade paddle. You'll see this bike very soon on our Santan Downham video, very soon. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I think it'll be enjoyable to continue on with. I'm going to let you know the specs and the links to the products. Oh, it only took me about 15 minutes to put it up by the looks of it. <coughs> So, hope you enjoyed that one. See you later. I thought I'd give you some pros and cons of actually using the kayak that we found. So, here goes. The pros are, it's got a flat bottom, which means it's nice and sturdy, especially people like me that would consider themselves inexperienced at this stage. It packs away easily, so it's great for airports and you can fill it manually or electronically with air pumps. It's actually really comfortable. Some of the feedback we've had from co-paddlers we've been with is that it's the most comfortable kayak they've actually ever been in. So that's a big compliment. And as Tim said earlier, you can use it as a solo or a tandem. Pretty nifty. The cons are, it's really quite expensive. We'll put the price in the description. I can't quite believe we paid this much for an inflatable. It's not a canoe, it's a funny con isn't it, but we all know that that's where my heart is. Another con is that it's really lightweight, which is I guess a good thing and most of you would not understand why that's a con. The main thing is because it's so light the wind grabs hold of you and can take you quite swiftly anywhere. The only other con that I could think of was the weight capacity. We've got it in the video and um, you might think it's really good. It is generally really good for a solo paddler, but if you've got two large paddlers or dogs and gear, it all soon adds up. So it's not quite the same as having a canoe where your weight capacity is a lot better. 